Medical equipment can be really costly and if you're working as a clinician, finding really good value equipment that can do the job is sometimes a bit of a challenge because you don't know what piece of equipment to get. Well, in this video, I'm going to explain the five key pieces of items every clinician should be using, whether in primary care, secondary care, hospital, it doesn't really matter. And also regardless of your role, so whether you're a nurse, a paramedic, a pharmacist, GP, hospital doctor, again, that doesn't matter. These are the key pieces of kit that you will need if you're working in those roles. And to explain the kit, I'm gonna explain them in three different categories. So you'll have your economy equipment. So this is the equipment that will absolutely get the job done, but is really good on value. Then we've got the business grade. So this is what you should be using mainly on a regular day-to-day -day basis and has a little bit of extra quality to make your life a little bit easier, but still at a fairly good price point. And then we've got the first class. So this is where money's not really an object and the priority is about quality of equipment and a pleasure of experience in using. I'm gonna give you examples for each of the five key pieces of equipment that you need as a clinician. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can get all that equipment, potentially for under 100 pounds. Okay, so that is at the time of filming this episode. And if you do want any of this stuff, the links to get them will be down in the descriptions. Some of them will be affiliate links, so if you do use them, I do get a small amount for helping you. But if you don't want that, feel free to Google them instead. So let's get cracking with that first piece of key equipment, the one piece of equipment that every clinician has and characterizes the medical field itself, the humble stethoscope. The stethoscope is a key piece of equipment that identifies every single doctor out there. But let's be honest, there are loads of different types of stethoscopes out there. So which is the one that is gonna be best for you? So if you're wanting the economy option for stethoscope, in my experience, the best value option is something called the MDF Acoustica. So this is a really simple piece of equipment that you can get for approximately 25 pounds and will absolutely do the job for you. But if you wanna spend a little bit more money and go for that business level grade, then you can absolutely get its big brother, the MDF One, which is what I have here. This is a great piece of equipment, solid, good weight, and very similar to the standard of stethoscopes that many people know, which is the Littmann. Now, I'm a big fan of Littmann. I've used one for many, many years, but with the average Littmann going for anywhere between 70 to 100 pounds currently, absolutely, the MDF-1 is a much better value opportunity for that. However, if you're wanting to go for that first class experience and want really good quality piece of equipment, in my view, you can't do better than the Echo Core 2, or as it's now called the Littmann Core, which is this stethoscope right here. The reason, it's got this amazing module here that adds an element of audio enhancement, Bluetooth capabilities, and superior quality when it comes to the sound. This is basically like HD sound quality compared to watching standard definition. Now, absolutely, you could go for the Core 2's big brother, which is the Echo Duo, and this definitely looks like a cool piece of kit, doesn't it? Which has a built-in ECG monitor into it as well. But the only reason why I prefer the Core 2 version is simply because sometimes, I'm not gonna deny, I forget to charge it, and it will still be functional as a stethoscope. Whereas unfortunately, when this is not charged, it ain't gonna work. So to summarize your stethoscope options, if you're going for economy, then I would definitely consider the MDF Acoustica, and that goes for roughly about 25 pounds. If you want your business grade, then consider the MDF One, which you can get for approximately 50 pounds. And if you want that first class grade piece of equipment, definitely consider the Littmann Core Stethoscope with that Bluetooth technology and noise dampening. That will set you back approximately 250 pounds at the time of this video. But what about a piece of equipment that partners very well with the stethoscope? That's the blood pressure cuff or sphygmomometer. Let's take a look, shall we? When it comes to checking a patient's blood pressure, you do have the option of going for automatic or manual, and these do have different values. For some people, using the automatic options, much easier, quicker, simpler to do, where there are definitely some people who prefer the control and the accuracy that a manual BP cuff will give you. If you're looking at that economy option, then definitely consider some of the automatic machines. These are quick and easy to use and can be obtained an absolute bargain. For many years, I've recommended the AD Medical UA611 blood pressure cuff as the most cost-effective piece of equipment available. That's the one I've got right here. And this is one that sits in my home visiting kit that I often use. You can often get this piece of equipment for about 15 pounds and it definitely will do the job for you. 
However, if you want slightly more functional, a little bit higher cost, I would definitely recommend the Kinetic version coming up right here. And the main reason for that is that the cuff size that comes with the Kinetic is slightly larger, so that will mean that you have better value when it comes to assessing your patients. However, if you're wanting that business grade piece of equipment, the one that's definitely gonna be reliable and will work no matter what, absolutely consider the Welsh Allen DuraShock that I've got here. I've had this piece of equipment for over 10 years now and it has never failed. And the cool thing is it comes with the port lock that allows you to change the cuff sizes really easily. However, just this piece of equipment will cost you approximately 85 pounds and if you get the additional cuffs, it will cost more. And as a result, if you want that first class piece of equipment, then getting the full complement of the DuraShock with all the various different cuffs will set you back 320 pounds but that will cover every possible issue when it comes to checking a patient's blood pressure. So to summarize your blood pressure cuff options, if you're going for the really good economy value, consider either the ADUA611 or better yet the Kinetic version, which of that goes for about 20 pounds. For your business grade, consider the Welsh Allen DuraShock. And then for your first class, getting the full complement of the DuraShock with the various different cuff sizes will set you back about 320 pounds. As technology improves, we are seeing more versions of smartwatches and digital equipment being able to check your blood pressure and that of your patients. However, many of these are not authorized by a British Heart Foundation currently. And as a result of that, not ones I can recommend for this particular video. So we talked about stethoscopes, we talked about blood pressure cuffs. Next, a key piece of equipment that every clinician should ideally have is your diagnostic set. This is your ophthalmoscope and otoscope, and we're gonna cover those right now for you. So having a good diagnostic set is really important when you're looking at people's ears and especially when you're looking at their eyes. However, these can be quite expensive, but that doesn't mean you have to spend loads of money on them. In my home visiting kit, I've been keeping this, which is branded by ADS. It's a cool piece of equipment that basically does the job. Now, I got this for about 15 pounds with the ophthalmoscope head as well, and it has done the job effectively for me. They're interchangeable, uses basic AA batteries, and I've even had some trainees who have borrowed them say that these have been more effective than some of the Welsh Allen kits that we provide them in practice as well. Now, unfortunately, this particular brand is no longer available, but you can get an alternative one for approximately 22 pounds, which the links for that are down below. However, in my clinic, that's not the piece of equipment I use. As many EGP learners know, I'm a massive fan of a device called the Arclight, which is this lovely piece of kit right here. So this device doubles up as both an ophthalmoscope and an otoscope. It's light, it's rechargeable, has a blue light filter on it as well, and various other cool little things as well that are just nice little touches. The Arclight is only available for the University of And St. Andrews website, and is currently set for about 55 pounds for a piece of kit. There is one, however, downside to both this and the basic set that you can get. And that's the issue with the caps themselves that you would use when you're using the otoscope. Because they're all proprietary, they can cost a lot when you're replacing them on a regular basis. So what I often do is basically put the normal cap on and use a disposable one from some of the Welsh Allens, which are actually a lot cheaper to get hold of in bulk. And these may be the caps that you may find, for example, in practices or in your hospital environment as well. But absolutely, if you're wanting quality, you can't go wrong with the Welsh Allen pieces of kit when it comes to diagnostic sets. That's both as an otoscope or as the ophthalmoscope head, which are obviously interchangeable. These can come either battery operated or station charged. And if you're wanting the first class piece of grade of equipment, then going for the panoptic is absolutely an option. However, in my view, that's only really ideal if you're an ophthalmologist or a specialist working with eyes and stuff. A standard Welsh Allen kit will set you back about £250, whereas the Panoptic can go up to £1,000 in cost. So if we're summarising the diagnostic kit options, if you want the basic economy version, then you're looking at approximately about £22. If you're looking for the arc lights, you're looking at about £50 to £55. And then for the Welsh Allen option, for an average piece of kit, you're looking at approximately £250. Or if you're going super high quality first class, the Panoptic, yep, you're looking at about approximately £1,000 potentially. So we've got two more pieces of equipment to show you, and then after that, I'm gonna show you how you can get all this potential kit for less than 100 pounds in total. But first up, let's talk about the SATS probe. Now, when assessing a patient, having the oxygen saturation can be a really valuable piece of equipment. Definitely one that we've noticed since COVID in particular. There are a variety of options you can look at when you're getting a SATS probe for your clinical use. Now, let's be honest, this is easily a piece of equipment you could potentially get from somewhere like Amazon or any kind of retailer, and it will do the basic little job for you. Most of these will go for anywhere between 10 to 20 pounds on average. 
I would definitely recommend going for reliable brands, things like Hyology, Salter, or Braun, like for example, the one I've got here, which is a Hyology one that I use in my practice. Important things to check is to go into the description of the item itself and check for the variance on the sats that they will give you. Ideally for a good piece of equipment, it should be no more than 1% in the higher ranges, so above 90%, it should be no more than a variance of one, and similar for the pulse rate as well. Also note the age ranges that many of these SATS probes will say they cover for, because it's important to remember for children in particular, these may not be effective. And for that reason, when you're going for business grade piece of equipment, it'd be worth considering ones that also allow you to assess children as well. So things like the Choice M Med Oximeter, which you can get from places like Medisave and that kind of stuff, definitely a good value and allow you to do the function. And that goes for approximately 32 pounds. Now, if you're going for a bit more higher quality, there are various other options like the MD 300 C5, or the Creative PC60, which will cost you approximately 70 to 80 pounds, depending on which one you go for. These will be suitable for pediatric cases. However, if you want that first class piece of equipment, then you may want to consider something like the RAD5. This is an impressive piece of kit that will not let you down and will let you check the sats on a child all the way down to infant and neonate ages, depending on which attachments you've got. However, this will set you back approximately a thousand pounds plus, depending on the attachments and stuff. So often something that I recommend the practices or the hospitals themselves keep rather than the individual clinician. So just to summarize the pulse oximeter options that you've got, at economy level, you've got the Salter, the Braun, the Hyologies, anything you can get basically from Amazon or eBay, that kind of place, they will set you back on average about 20 pounds per piece of kit. If you want the economy options, you've got the Choice M Med pulse oximeter at 32 pounds, or if you've got a little bit more business level you wanna go for, consider things like the MD300 or the PC60 they will set you back approximately 70 to 80 pounds. And if you want that first class option, the one that is the absolute reliable piece of kit when checking the sats, you've got the RAD5. Unfortunately, you are looking at a significant cost, potentially up to a thousand pounds for that piece of kit. So next up, let's talk about thermometers. Checking a patient's temperature, definitely important thing to do. When it comes to having a thermometer for your use in clinical practice, there are a variety of options you can go for. I've used various different ones, and particularly in my view, the Braun brand is one of the best ones available. However, if you're looking for a really good economy option, I would recommend checking out the Duronix 3-in-1. So I've been using this for about three years now, ever since COVID kicked off, and the main reason for that is it's, this is a non-touch thermometer. But when I wanna make sure I've got an accurate reading, it does remove the cap and turn into an in-ear thermometer as well. And interestingly, I have found that the Welsh Allen probe kits that you can get will still mean this is functional, so you've got disposable cap there as well. This you can easily get for about £15 and is a great piece of kit at the value that you get. However, if you want that business grade level piece of kit, then absolutely getting one of the Braun Thermoscans is the best place to go. This is one of the older versions, but the Thermoscan 5 or 7 are absolutely great value pieces of kit that do the job effectively. They vary in price, but you can easily get them on offer for about 40 pounds or so. Alternately, if you want that first class piece of kit, going out for the Welsh Allen versions of those or the big daddy ones that also allow you to check the temperatures accurately in infants as well, that will definitely set you back and you're looking at approximately 350 pounds, excluding the probe covers themselves, which are often quite expensive. So again, those are the pieces of kit I recommend the practices or the hospitals themselves keep for you to use. And you may want to consider the business versions like the Braun's thermoscans themselves as the one that you keep in your equipment bag. So just to summarize your options when it comes to a thermometer, if you're thinking economy brand, then definitely consider the Geronic 3-in-1, which will set you back approximately 15 pounds. If you're going for that business grade, definitely consider one of the Braun thermoscans and the five at the moment will set you back approximately 40 pounds. If you're going for that first class option, the Welsh Allen options, definitely a good quality piece of the kit. They will set you back approximately 320 pounds. For your first class option, consider things like the Welsh Allen piece of kit with the infant covers. They will set you back approximately 350 pounds. So coming up next, I'm gonna to explain to you how you can get all that equipment for under 100 pounds if you want to. However, just before we do that, if you have found this useful, do leave a like and subscribe to the channel below. It lets me know this is useful content for you and definitely share this with your colleagues. Additionally, you may be wondering what piece of equipment I use in practice. Well, if we're going down in order, in terms of what I use on a day-to-day -day basis, my clinical practice for my stethoscope, it's absolutely that Echo Core 2 stethoscope with the Bluetooth technology and the pure sound quality that it brings. From a blood pressure cuff perspective, it's the DuraShock that I use on a regular basis, and I've got two different cuffs. For a diagnostic piece of kit, it's absolutely my ArcLight that I use on a regular basis. 
When it comes to the SATS probe, the Hyology is the one I found really useful for all adults and I only resort to using the Practice Rad 5 when I've got young children that I need to assess because my Hyology one will go down to the age of two. And then for the thermometer, it is the Thermoscan 7 that I use on a regular day-to-day -day basis. However, my home visit bag, the Geronic, is definitely one that I love having in my kit. But can you get the essential equipment you need as a clinician for under £100? Well, let's check it out, shall we? So if you go for the MDF Acoustica, that will set you back approximately £25. As I mentioned earlier, the ADUA611 automatic blood pressure cuff will set you back £15. The basic diagnostic set that I showed will set you back £22. A good value SATS Pro will easily cost you £20 and dead easy to get hold of. But as I said, do check the descriptions for the right versions. And lastly, you've got the Geronic 3-in-1 thermometer. They'll set you back approximately £15. In total, all that equipment will set you back £97 in total. And you can absolutely get links to those down below if you want to. So if cost is a key factor for you, all that piece of equipment will definitely be reliable and functional for you in your clinical practice. If you do want a little bit of quality, go back and have a look at some of those business and first class options as well. If you want more detailed review, definitely check out some of the information in this video right here. Alternately, if you're after a good bag to keep all that equipment in, check out this video right here. And we're always here to help tech enhance your primary care and learning. And I will catch you in the next episode.